Come with us now to Jakarta, Indonesia, where our next presenter believes there's a connection between a healthy body and a healthy earth. From the At America Center in Indonesia, please welcome the talented Charles Wirewan. In our country, in our country I'm, I'm so glad to tell you that since the tsunami in Aceh in 2004, some of the villages have built solar panels. The good news is the Indonesian government wants to increase renewable energy generation from 5% to 17% by 2025. Indonesia was the third world in installed geothermal capacity, while we have the biggest potential of geothermal. We only reached the third. And the restoration of mangroves can help pull global warming pollution out of the atmosphere. Healthy mangroves can also help protect coastal residents from the effects of sea level rise and dangerous storm surges. The question is, what can you do? Please welcome ecologist and staff scientist at Climate Central, Nicole Heller, Executive Director for the Human Impacts Institute, Tara Deport. From the College of Earth and Mineral Sciences at Penn State, Dean Bill Easterling. And Executive Director of ClimateMama.com, Harriet Sugarman. The kind of classic cycle um, shifting between El Nino and La Nina is sort of a three to seven year. And El Nino events in some areas, like in Indonesia, my understanding is bring drier conditions. And um, whereas in other regions, like where I live in California, bring much wetter weather. People need to understand that El Nino and La Nina are normal parts of the uh, climate system. They're what we call internal uh, climate deviations. Mm -hmm. um, what we are concerned about is that we could see super El Ninos. And right. it's, it's useful to point out that um, some of the paleo climate, the uh, people, climatologists, some the people who study climate back thousands, if not millions, of years, believe that the the cyclical changes in the major ice ages to warm periods occurred over very short periods of time, and they probably were prompted by super El Ninos. Mm. It's a question that often gets lost when we talk about the science or we get caught up in the politics that we forget about the human impact, and particularly in countries like Indonesia where you have millions of people living in low-lying areas that not only sea level rise over time, which is a great concern, it's the rise of seas because of extreme weather events, when we get flooding events, and oftentimes in those developing countries, people living on the, in those areas are the most vulnerable. <laughs>